This tutorial is designed to show students how to generate a line graph in Stata. Line graphs are traditionally used to display time series variables over a number of years, quarters or months, etc. We can see here we've data from 1990 to 2007 for GDP and investment share. We will be graphing GDP against year. To do this, we use the command line and open brackets. Whatever variable we wish to go on the y-axis, we put in first. In this instance, we wish GDP to be on the y-axis, and we follow this with the variable we want on the x-axis, in this case, year. We close brackets and hit return, and Stata will generate our graph. We can edit this graph by selecting the Start Graph Editor tab from the Toolbar section. Here, we can add various factors such as a title, by double-clicking Title, We'll call this figure x GDP from 1990 to 2007. Select OK and our heading appears. Note that we only have data to 2007, yet the access for the x variable goes up to 2010. We may wish to correct this by double clicking the x axis and changing the range slash delta mark. Here we will set the minimum value to 1990 the maximum value to 2007. The delta, or gap between the years, appearing we will put as 5. We select OK, and what we can see is we now run from 1990 to 2007 with an indicator for the year every 5 years. That's our delta equal to 5. We can make similar adjustments to our y-axis. We note that this does not start at 0. If we wish to designate it to start at 0, we simply select and double-click our y-axis. Again go to the range delta tab. The minimum value we wish is 0. Maximum value is 50,000. Ensure that this is not exceeded by the line graph or else you will be cutting off the top of your graph. And the delta we will put as 20,000. We select OK. And what we can see now is we have GDP running from 0 up to 50,000 with a delta at every 20,000. If we decide that we want more than three tabs here on the y-axis, we can double-click again, go to Range, and perhaps change the delta to 10,000, and select OK. We can make further adjustments by adding notes and subtitles to our actual graph. However, we're going to leave it in this instance. To do so, we simply reselect our Stop Graph Editor, and we told that we have not saved changes we have made, and do we want to save the changes before we're leaving. We select Yes, we designate it and select Save. Now we have our graph saved, and we can right-click and copy this graph, and paste it into, Star, into Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel. That concludes this tutorial. Further tutorials are available on the SharePoint website.